right, welcome everybody to Better Balance class where we do all of our fun things to help us get better at balance. For class today, I have a chair, usual props. I have my small fitness ball, a resistance band, some small hand weights. I do have a little something to roll my foot out on. Um, and then the other thing that I have is I just got, I just grabbed like the, the yoga blanket today and kind of folded it up. Um, we've been playing with kind of creating our own balance pad at home. Um, anything works for this. It could just be like one towel, um, the, tr the trick, the progression. The more you fold it, the higher it is, the more wobbly it's going to be. So you might, if you're just starting to do this, you might start with just like a towel, maybe like, you know, like this, maybe you fold it once. I'm going to get crazy and fold mine like three times today. We'll see how that goes. All right. Uh, let's start. If you have like your little ball or something you like to roll your foot on, let's start with that today. And then we'll head in to some more warm up stuff. So just a little good standing balance work. And if your ball or roller or whatever you're using, just to give your foot a little massage, get some blood flow. Roll from your heel to your toes, anywhere in between. Um, of course, this is balance work, so you, you know, be near your chair or wall if you need down there. You should just get a little, a little foot warm up. It just feels good. And then we'll just switch. We'll do that on our other side. Nothing specific today, just a hole, just inside of your foot, outside of your foot. Of course, you can use any ball that you have that you love. Or just waking up those feet and ankles a little bit since we get to use them so much when we do our balance practice. Okay. okay, we got those feet a little warmed up. You can just set your ball over to the side. Let's start seated as we come to our chairs. We'll just sit nice and tall up on our sitting bones. We'll start with Carrie's favorite arm circle. So just a little energy in those arms. Big breath, just sit tall, take a big breath, reach the arms up, and then exhale. Circle the arms to come back around. Big inhale to lift. Your range, how big you go with those. Exhale to circle around. Inhale as you lift up. And then a nice big exhale to circle. And we'll go the other way. Palms face forward. We'll take a big circle of the arms around. As the arms press down, kind of lift your chest or pull it through a little bit. Big inhale. And then that exhaling as you come back down. One more. And and then just go into some shoulder rolls, just that lift and roll the shoulders back. Lots of movement through our shoulder blades, getting everything all moving, warmed up. Maybe even want to do some like one at a time ones, alternating. And then go ahead and switch directions if you haven't already. Go the other direction, just circling them around. And then maybe a little little one at a time in that direction. And a little check in with our neck. Let's start with just that sitting tall in our good posture and doing a little turn of our head side to side. So simple, but so effective. A little look over one shoulder, find your stretch. And then when you turn to go the other way, if you like the little sweep of your fingers across your neck, you can add that in. And just alternating. And more than anything, we're just kind of finding your range to start with. Giving those muscles a little movement, a little stretch each time. Let's do a couple more just like that. A little time to check in with just coordinating our breath with our movement. That kind of on purpose centers us kind of work. And then we'll see some smiley face neck rolls as well. So we'll do that little look over one shoulder. Take the tip of our nose and just slowly draw the smile. 
smiley face and look over the other shoulder. Take your time. And if you find a spot where it just feels like you need to hang or want to hang for a little bit, kind of feels like that good stretch, definitely do it. Do a few more of those. Letting the weight of your head come forward just to just that simple little shift of the weight in our head that stretches those muscles in our neck in a good way. And then coming back to center. Let's get some movement through our spine, starting just with a little arch and curl. So if we start sitting tall, we can curl. Think about starting with our hips, rounding our back, stretch, and then reverse it. Maybe you want to sweep your arms back, maybe like on your legs, just go back and forth, changing the shape of your spine from that round spine, tall spine, into the arch, and then reverse. Never forcing it, but just getting kind of that nice flowy movement. Trying to time your breath so we get a nice big inhale one way, and then we exhale the other way. Let's do one more of those. Feeling ourselves kind of rock on our chair and our sitting bones. And then we'll just come back to the center and get some side bends in. Just a sweep of one arm up overhead. The other arm's kind of reaching down toward the floor. And then stack back to center. And then the other way, big inhale. And exhale to bring yourself back up. Inhale, reach. Feel those hips just kind of nice and anchored on our chair. And then that allows us to get that movement side to side in our spine. Let's do one more of each. Big breath. Notice even on these, you get a little neck stretch. Just kind of let that head hang. And then coming back to center. Let's do one more kind of, I'm gonna move this way like this. I'm gonna call these like rib cage slides. Sometimes it helps me to have my hands on my rib cage for this. Just feel how your hips are nice and anchored and then play with like sliding your rib cage off to one side and then sliding it off to the other side. And I always find it interesting. I feel like one side I can go further, one side's a little tighter. But just kind of that lateral movement of our rib cage side to side to start with. And then let's make that into like a circle. So think that your rib cage kind of pushes forward to the side, comes back behind your hips to the other side. And the whole time, in theory, our hips are not moving. And if you're really picky about that, it'll feel like some work to keep those sitting bones pretty evenly anchored as you kind of move your rib cage around in space. Try it the other direction, whatever way you're going, just switch. Mm -hmm. If your rib cage, I, don't know, I think of it as like a container, right? and when we're moving it around in space, forward in front of the hips, to the side, to the back, to the other side, and then back, and then and then come back to center. Let's get some twists in. Just a maybe a hand on your leg if that feels good. Test out that first rotation. Look behind you, and then switch. Just that awareness of our breath as we twist around. Again, we're keeping those hips anchored and then twisting our whole spine around. We could do some sweepy arms if you prefer to. That's nice. Oh, let's get one more in. And then back to center. Good. Back to those feet for just a little. We're going to rock through our feet a little bit. So we'll just do the ones where we kind of roll the bottom of the foot into the floor, lift up to your tippy toes, roll the foot down into the floor, and lift your toes. And just back and forth. Right. Kind of noticing what you're feeling as far as that work, as far as some stretch. I like to check in with my toes and try to spread them apart, use them as much as I can. And let's do the, um, I'm going to come up to my tippy toes, roll to the outside edges of my feet, roll down the outside edges, roll to the inside edge, and come up. I still don't really have a name for these, uh, I don't know, foot circles, <laughs> hip circles, but really that 
circular action with our feet. We're feeling our knees and hips move. We're just getting that kind of circling our, our legs and our Let's reverse it and go up the outside edge, across and back down. Roll up, inside edges and back down. And let's do like two more of those. And then as you finish, just coming back to center. Let's get a little bit of those flat back hinges in. Um, feet and knees can be hip width apart or you could take them even wider. Sometimes I like mine a little wider. Nice flat back. Just test out that first hinge. You can have your hands on your legs. Maybe you want to reach up. See if you can find just a little stretch. Feels good for your body. And then push through your legs, pull your abs in, and just bring yourself back right over top of those hips. We'll do that a few times. Inhale, reach. Exhale to come back. Always reminds me of uh, not that I do this when I'm skiing, but if I'm skiing, <laughs> leaning into it. Maybe when I see other people ski. And come back up one more time. And, back. and then let's do that lean backwards. So a little more core work on these. You decide where you want those hands. They can be on your legs. They can be out in front. We're just going to do that lean. Kind of feel our core. And then come back up. No right or wrong on those. They might just feel like a little bit. You might feel like you can get all the way back to your chair, maintaining that tall spine. And then bring yourself back up. Try it, see where you get. Let's see, like two more there. Back and forth, just that rock on those city bones. You could even put those hands behind your head if you're feeling like super challenged. Oh, it definitely makes it so much harder. And then we're coming back up. Okay, give those shoulders a little roll. Let's grab our hands. Continue warming up, getting some strength work in. So you're going to want to take that resistance band, put it down on the floor. Feet and knees, maybe hip width apart. Itch. And then, as always, choke up as little or as little or as much as you want on those bands. Sit nice and tall. Let's just do that pull up and back down. Kind of feels like you're pulling the band up into your armpits a little bit. And then back down. We're just keeping a tall spine. All right, adjust your tension as you need on there. Breathe. Pull up with the band, but avoid lifting those shoulders. All right. Some of this stuff. And back down. Let's do two more. Pull it up and straighten. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go right to some straight arm presses. Decide where you like to be on your band. Inhale, press back. Exhale to come forward. Feeling those backs of those arms. Feeling that core work just to stay nice and tall. We get our press. Bring the arms forward. Inhale. And exhale. Try to keep those wrists straight if you can. And bring them back. Press. And back. Let's hit two more of those. And back. One more time. Good. Give them a little rest. Flip your palms up. Let's sneak in a little set of bicep curls here. Let's do just kind of pick a spot and and hold there as far as your upper arm bow position. We'll get like eight, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Good. Okay. We're going to go back to our straight arm presses. Let's do our, um, and really let's, let's just revisit it with our chest expansion exercise. So, we got the band under our feet. We're sitting tall. We're going to take a big inhale, press straight back and squeeze the chair. Look right, look left, back to center, and then exhale to bring the arms forward. So we'll press straight back and squeeze in a little extra, and then we'll go left, right, center, arms come back. Press back, squeeze in. We'll go right, left, center. Then bring the arms forward one more time. Press them back, squeeze in. We'll get our look left, look right, back to center. Arms come back forward. Give them a little shake out. Let's get our tricep presses in. Let's have our flat back lean. You decide, maybe a little, maybe a lot. 
pick up your arms in space, and then we're going to do that straighten our arms and bend. Long necks will just feel better. Let's get eight, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. And then give those shoulders a little roll out. Let's take our band up to our legs. Give our upper body a little, little break on there. Um, let's wrap our legs. So feet and knees together, cross the band, give it a snug little, oh, it's all slippery today on my pants, and give it a snug little pull. Sit nice and tall. We're gonna start with those clean shells. So we're gonna just see how far can we open and press into our band, and then come back. Keep your feet nice and sealed. Oh, let's get eight of those. That's two, three, sitting bones anchored, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, let's add in the rolling through our feet little piece of it. So we're gonna open, these to be a little slower. Roll to the outside edges of your feet, feet first, and then legs. Open as far as you can, open a little further, feet come down first, and then legs, keep that good posture, open, roll feet, feet, legs, open, roll feet, feet, legs, open, roll through the feet, feet, legs, open, roll through the feet, feet, legs, one more time, open, roll through the feet, feet, and legs, good, okay, give them a little rest, in fact, just keep Keep your band there. Let's do some toe taps for me. Both feet, let's do eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then let's alternate them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to both feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're going to go back to clamshells. We're going to get some 50% ones in. So we got our good posture. We're going to keep our feet sealed, open up to 50% of your full range, which is work just to be there. And then 50 to 100, let's do a set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring them all the way back in. Let's go right into one more set of those. Out to 50, and then we press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring them all the way back in. Next up, I want us to do the roll of the feet, kind of slower ones. One more set. Open as far as you can, roll through the feet, feet first, and legs. Open, roll, feet, legs. Open, roll through the feet, reach the feet back. Let's do two more. Open, roll, feet, legs. Open, roll, feet, and legs. Good, okay. Unwind those legs for a moment. We're going to do one today where we're going to take, um, we'll take that band out in front of us. And the action on this one that I want, you're going to have your palms up. So I like to really hold my band on this one. The arms are a little below your shoulder. And what I want is that we move the band. I don't know if this will be helpful for me to show this. What I don't want, let me show you what I don't want. I don't want you to open your band by just squeezing your shoulder blades together. I really want you to keep your shoulder blades anchored. So that when you open the band, we're not, we're not doing this thing. I don't have a tight shirt on, so you guys might not be able to see that, but you can imagine, right? So try it out for me. We're going to shoot for eight of these, which warning I think feels like a lot, depending on your band. Um, shoulder blades anchored into place, and then just how far can you open? Maybe can you get it all the way out and then bring it here? Keep them a little below your shoulder. I kind of have to remind myself to keep these low, not let the shoulders like scrunch up. Right? And the idea is that our arms are moving, but we're not, we're really anchoring our shoulder blades. We're not doing a lot of movement through our chest. You might want to because it feels like it would help it as we open and come back. I want to tell you this would feel like a lot. What are we on? Like five? <laughs> I'm not going to shoot for three more. And it's fine if you're not getting all the way open, too. Go to where you can or all the way, like across your chest. Go to where you can in there. 
Two more. Really good for those arms and shoulders. One more time. And then give those shoulders a little roll, a little roll around in space. Let's um, go back to grabbing our ball. Or back, we haven't done it yet. But let's grab our ball. Let's do a little inner thigh fun. So we'll start and we just have our ball and we're sitting nice and tall. We're just gonna do some squeezes. Let's do a little set of eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do some single leg ones. Right leg holds still, left leg squeezes in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll switch. Left leg holds still, right leg comes in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, back to both legs. Let's do this today. Let's lift our heels up. So we're up on our toes, balls of the feet, and then same thing, just a little quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bonuses on our one leg. I'm gonna keep my right leg just like it is, heel lifted. Let's see if I can lift. Here's your options. You can leave the leg bent, or you can try to hold it straight, just like squeeze it in. One, two, Three, let's do five, four, five, because those feel extra hard. And then we're gonna switch. All right, left heel is lifted, right leg, maybe it's bent, maybe it's straight. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can come back down and like give those legs a little shimmy, a little shake out. Let's go into a little bit of our chair bridges. We'll keep our ball there. So find a comfortable spot hanging onto your chair surface. Adjust your feet, move them down a little bit. Um, set, the, set the arms and chest first. Sort really of push away and feel that good strength work. Squeeze your body a little bit. Then you could do your pelvic tuck, lift your hips, kind of looking down your body, and then reverse it and just kind of slide those hips back in. Let's do two more like that. Inhaling as we're coming up. Exhale, kind of slide it back in. One more pelvic tuck, push the chair away, and then that roll through your back to come back down. Good. All right, let's go from here. Let's go into some sit to stands with our ball. So we'll come back to our sit nice and tall. We got our ball, we got our feet nice and anchored. We're just going to hip hinge and do our nice, evenly weighted in both legs to stand and then come back down. Let's get five of those hip hinge, little hug in, and then that hip hinge and back down. Hip hinge and up, hip hinge and back down. Inner thighs just hugging in, taking our time. One more, hip hinge. You can do, of course, whatever you want with those arms. It could be out in front. Just dangle a little bit and then coming back. Okay, then let's do play today. Let's see if we can get some tricep presses and we're gonna keep our ball. Here's where we're gonna move to the front edge of my chair for this. You can use your legs for this as much as you want, but bring your, bring your hips out here in front of your chair, anchor your shoulder blades and do little, kind of like little bending straights, right? If you go too big, your shoulders are gonna wanna hike up. So make that like your, your goal is shoulder blades anchored, chest lifted. Just see if you can get like five of those. And if it feels like too much to bend and straighten, then you can always just hold it. Just hold with that straight arm. That's good strength work too. One more time. I think that was five. And I'll scoot and come back in. Ooh, get those arms a little shake out on there. All right, tell you what, next up, we're going to go into our kind of one leg sit to stand with our ball. So pick your leg you want to start with. I like to start with my hard one, which for me is usually my left. You decide how much weight you're taking out of the right leg or whichever one you're doing. And then we'll go, let's do for five. We're going to do that hip hinge, bring ourselves up and our hip hinge. And back down. I love, I first, I love the ball. I love how squeezing into the ball helps you stabilize. Oh, makes it feel easier, not quite. 
easier but harder all in one hip hinge and back up and then our hip hinge to come back up i think we have two more hip hinge and up hip hinge last one i feel like we should do some bonuses so let's squeeze on the way up five times squeeze on the way down hip hinge lift a little start your squeezes one two three four five and then we come down one two three four five is one inch off the chair and then it gets land. and then we gotta do it on the other side all right so we're weighted on your other leg we'll start with some regular ones get a feel for it hip hinge and come up wherever the arm is going to be wherever it's helpful for you or maybe you're trying to give yourself a little challenge you could put them behind your head something fun like that hip hinge and back down we're going to shoot for our five with the last one being our uh let's do some bonuses one hip hinge and back down. i think we have two more hip hinge up and then that hip hinge to so come back then all right this is our last one this is our bonus this one little hip hinge lift an inch one two three four five and then bring it back down one two three four five and then land Ooh, extra fun all right let's set that ball to the side for a little bit we'll grab our weights get some of our strength work in with our weights whatever size you're using um, I usually just, you know, grab one set, but you could do different exercises with different weights. Um, let's start with our wrists. So options on these, always you can just sit upright and hold that forearm still in space, or you could do a little, my favorite one, lean forward and let the forearm rest on your legs, but keep your back nice and long. Take the weights and let them roll down to those fingertips and then curl them in. We're gonna do eight, we'll give our two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wrist side bends are next. Bring that weight in line and then go side to side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we gotta flip over and do that all the other direction. So palms down, weights are hanging, and then we pick them up and lower them. We're doing eight. Nice long back. Remember, good posture. Three, four, five, six, seven. One more. And then some wrist side bends. There's one, two, three, four, five. Eight, and then we get some rest and shake out. And man, those are just little movements, but always feel like a ton of work. Feel free to do what feels best for you after some wrist work. You know, just giving some attention to those forearms. Maybe you just want to give them a little massage, a little squeeze and release. Maybe it feels like you want to stretch them. You want to massage the hand a little bit. Oh, this just feels good. One of those things I think. I forget to do, but when I do it, it's like, oh, feels good. All right, shake out the arms a little bit. Let's go back to, um, let's get our bicep curl. Let's get the fun bicep curls in, where you get to be a little creative and like move your, move your arms around in lots of different places, focusing on just keeping your shoulder blades anchored and keeping your good posture. We'll do our one and two. Remember, you could come out here, three. Notice how the further they are from your center, the more work they kind of feel like, at least to me. Is that fun? Six, seven, eight. Oh, let's do two more today. Nine, one more, and ten. A little rest moment. We'll get some tricep presses in. These are going to feel a lot like the ones we did with the bands. We'll do a little hinge. We'll pick our elbows up. We'll straighten and then play with these today. Like that one, I had my palm facing in. Now I'm going to do my palm facing to the ceiling. 
straighten and bend. And I'm gonna alternate it every time. Palm faces in, straighten, bend. Palm faces the ceiling, straighten and bend. Palm faces in, straighten, bend. Palm faces ceiling, straighten, bend. One more of each of them. Straighten, bend. Palm faces up, straighten, bend. And then bring them back. Ooh, I think that's fun. And then give everything just like a little shake there. Just um, set your weights right there on your legs and just do a little calf raise just so they're secure more than anything, right? Just a little lift up to your toes, balls of your feet. And then we will also do the um, lift your toes. So it feels like a, the start of the toe tap thing. Let's do like 10 of those. One, two, three, four. Try to really roll through those feet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we got one more, and 10. All right, next up, let's do, I think we can play with this today. Let's see if we can play with a lean. I feel like I'm leaned back a little bit. I kind of want us to do almost, see if we can do like a little chest press. So get my arms like, goal close, kind of arm arm, and I'm leaning. My butt's pretty far forward, so I have a little angle, like a flat back. And then can we just do like a little push out at an angle and come back in? Everybody's gonna be a little different, so you can play with that. We'll press and come back. Core muscles, comfortable neck position. And make sure you feel like you're not straining to hold it there. Out and back in. Press and back. Out. And back in, feels like we should be three more of those. Maybe that's eight. And back. Out. And back in. And in. And then go ahead and come on up and just give those shoulders a little, a little shake out in space. All right. We should do our pour the drinks. So reminders on these, you're gonna hold your weight. You're gonna pretend like it's a pitcher. It's gonna be lower than your shoulders. We'll do it with both arms, but just for me demonstrating and talking, we're gonna internally rotate the whole arm, externally rotate. And you can do that in lots of different places. Out wide, internal, external. You can do it out here in front, internal, external. You play with it, internal and external, internal. And external, internal, and external. Let's do two more of those. Internal, and external, internal, and external. And then we'll give the shoulders a little rest. Let's do our next set of our sit to stand with our weights. Um, of course, we don't want to use weights. You don't have to. The weights will give you a little extra resistance, so more strength building. We're going to start with both feet and knees, hip width ish apart. You decide where you want to hold your weight. Do you want to let them hanging or be out here in front? Remember, it's just that hip hinge. Come to standing. Hip hinge. And then come back down. Let's do for five of those. Hip hinge. Stand it up. Hip hinge. And back down. Hip hinge. Come up to standing, hip hinge, and make our way down. We get two more hip hinge. We come up, and then we get that hip hinge back down. One more time, hip hinge, up, hip hinge to come back. And then we get to do the one leg fun. Again, you get to decide where you want to hold your weights, which leg you want to start with first, maybe start with that more challenging one. Well, hip hinge. Let's just do some regular ones first. And back. Maybe just three that are regulars, and then we'll we'll play around and maybe add a bonus or two in. Hip hinge. And up. But okay, here's what I'm thinking for our bonus. We're gonna come up to standing, and we're just gonna hold our one leg balance as much as you're comfortable. Come up. One, maybe five. Two, three four, five, then lightly land that foot and come back down. And then we'll do that again, hip hinge. If you need a little toe on the floor, that's fine. Otherwise, hold it up. One, two, three, four, five, and bring it. I think we should do one more. I know that's six. 
Let's do one more. Those would be fun. Come on up. One, two, three, four, five. And coming back. And then we got to do it on the other side. So we'll do that same thing, three and three. And again, you decide where you want those weights. I kind of liked them right here in front of me, but try it where you want. Start with some regular one leg ones. Run yourself up, control it on the way back down. Of course, now you know where we're going. You can start thinking about our bonuses. Hip hinge and back down. One more like that, hip hinge, bring it up. Hip hinge and back down. All right, bonuses for three. Hip hinge, one leg balance, two, three, four, five, and then back down. Hip hinge, come on up, one leg balance, two, three, four, five, and coming back one more time. Hip hinge, one leg balance, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll land. Oh. All right, one last one. Let's get just like a little more shoulder work and we'll do like a little bit of just our like a shoulder raise or an arm raise out to the side. So we're gonna sit tall. We'll just do a lift and lower. Lift and lower. We should get like eight of those. That three and four and five. Six. Seven, one last one, eight, and then back down. Awesome. All right, let's come up to standing, play with some standing balance. Fun. Um, here is where if you have something rolled up for some of this one like down stuff or a towel or whatever, that'll give you some extra bonus fun. We'll see. I have my little triple today. We'll see if I stay with it like that. Um, Let's start. Pick a leg you want to balance on. I'm going to do my left one first, which is my harder one. And I'm standing on my fun little owl here. And then let's start to do it with like our flat back hinges on one leg. So play with it when you go down, you know, leg hold, leg goes behind you. Back up, and of course, if you get comfortable and you feel like you can let go, you can play with that. Let's do one more there. Two for three. It's just your challenge. Remember, we're trying to get wiggly wobbly, and then come back so if you can stay standing on that leg. Do a little side leg, like raise for me five times. We're just practicing bouncing on that leg. There's two. Three, four, and five. Okay, you get to rest that leg a little. Um, I'm keeping my one leg here. I'm gonna try that crossover. So my thing is not quite big enough. I don't know if I can get both feet on there. So I'm gonna emphasize, but you guys can play. You know, if you want one foot wider, want one foot out here in front of us, just give yourself an orientation that kind of challenges you. And then do your hip hinge forward. Maybe find your stretches as you hip hinge, as well as the balance work. And you can decide you can keep a hand on that chair. You can maybe move the arms out in front or behind you. Let's do one more. Just that hip hinge. And good. Okay, let's play with that all on the other side. Um, let's start switching sides. So remember, if you don't have something to stand with, it's fine. You can just stand on one leg. Oftentimes that is just a challenge on its own. All right, so you're gonna find your balance on one leg. We're gonna do a little hip hinge with the other leg reaching behind you in that position. Right, and we're just trying to get a little wobbly. Play around with your arms. Sometimes it's fun just to try different things. You might find something that helps you. You might find something that makes it harder. All fun. 
hinge. And coming back up. Now remember on this one, when you come up, try to stay on the one leg and do your side leg like lift up to the side five times. That's two, three. Picking a focal point, super helpful. Four, one more, five. And then come back, give it a little rest. And then try some version of our cross leg hip hinge. So if you if you have a towel, ooh, yeah, you both my feet on there. You can put both of them on there. You can put one on the floor, one on the towel. Just vary it up a little bit. The towel, but whatever you're using to make your balance practice more fun. And then coming, we're just gonna shoot for three of those. You're gonna keep your back flat. Hang on a little right. As long as you're feeling wobbly, it's good. Right. And usually even when we're lightly touching or hanging onto something, we're still feeling wobbly. So that's what we want. And then coming back up. Good. Okay, let's go back to our other side. Whatever you decide you're doing first. Let's play with those three point touches. For the extra fun ones. Um, and again, if you decide you don't want something under your foot, these are always challenging with or without it. So we're going to stand in our balance first on one leg. And then we're going to do our taps. We're going to go front, bring the leg back to balance, out to the side, back to balance, and then behind us, back to balance. Let's do it again. Front, Balance, side, balance, behind, balance. One more time. Front, balance, side, balance, behind, balance. Hold here, bonus today. Opposite hand, press it to your knee. Tap your foot just down to the floor and reach your arm at a diagonal. Three times, you're gonna tap. And reach. Tap your knee. And reach. Okay, next up, we're going to go right into our lunges forward. We're going to take a step, lunge, push ourselves back and find the balance. Get wobbly. Up to the side. We'll squat, push up, find our balance. Behind us, squat, come back, find your balance. Remember the diagonal thing we did? We're doing it again. Touch your knee to the hand opposite, and then foot touches down as the arm goes in an angle three times. Knee to hand, little diagonal reach. Other hand can do whatever you want. <laughs> and reach, good, and come back. Good, okay, let's do another set of our lunges. We're gonna lunge forward, come back, find our balance, out to the side. Squat, push off, balance. Behind us, little lunge, come back, balance. All right, one more time. Let's do the diagonals. Knee to hand, tap. Knee to hand, tap. These are extra fun. <laughs> Diagonal and back. All right, one more set of our lunges. Let's go forward, push back, find that balance. Out to the side. Squat, push off, find your balance. Behind us. Push up and find your balance. Good. Okay, take a little rest. We're going to do that all on the other side. We'll see if I can remember it all. All right. If you're standing on something, you know, move it over. Try that all again. All right. So, our first mission find our balance on our one leg. Hang on if you need. Don't if you don't. Let's do our taps front, back to balance, side. Back to balance, behind us, back to balance. Front, balance, side, balance, behind us, and balance. We got one more. Front, balance, side, balance, behind, and then balance. All right, then let's practice our opposite knee to hand, diagonal reach. Knee to hand, diagonal reach. One more time. Knee to hand, diagonal reach. Okay, back to balance. We got our step lunge. Lunge forward, push back, find your balance. Out to the side, squat, 
push up, find your balance. Behind you, little lunge, push up, balance. We get our knee to the hand, touch, diagonal reach. Touch, diagonal reach. One more time, touch, diagonal reach. Back to our little lunges, we go forward. Push back, find our balance. Out to the side, squat, push up. Find our balance behind us. A little lunge, push up. Find our balance. Okay, diagonal. Knee to hand. Tap. Arm reaches one way, leg the other. Knee to hand. Diagonal. Reach one more time. And back out. Okay, we got one more round of each. One more. Step forward. Back into our balance. Out to the side. Squat. Back. To balance one more time behind us. And balance one more time of our diagonal knee to hand. Reach. Might have added a bonus on this side, but that's okay. Bonuses are good. One more. And reach. Woo. And then we get a little rest. Shake out hips. Anything that feels good out there. Let's bring ourselves oh. No towels on this. Oh my God. Let's do a little bit after all that, just to stretch our back, practice our plank. So go ahead and walk yourself out on your chair, or maybe just let your head hang, and maybe even a little pedal of the feet there. And then as you're feeling ready, let's do a few of our plank practice where we're gonna shift ourselves forward, adjust as you need your foot position, and just navigating coming forward into your plank. That's gonna be a little. And then push back, strong arms, feel that length in your back as your hips reach behind you. Let's do like four more of those. Come forward, try to keep your heels down as long as you can, so you keep getting that little calf stretch along the way. And then as you come back, I try to reach my heels first and then shift. I think we got two more. Shift forward, plank practice, push yourself back. Shift your hips behind you. One more time. This is our bonus one where we hold it. We're going to come forward in. Of course, you could just hold or you can play with little bend and straighten. Remember, keep them little. And those little ones are almost harder than if you go bigger. One more time. And then push back. Stretchy movement. If you like that, lift one heel. Lift through that other sitting bone. And that in. If you just want to be there and stretch, that's okay too. And then as you're ready, just walk yourself all the way back in. Let's um our standing footwork. Let's roll our ball in on these. Um, let's not do them up. Let's do them on the floor because we did all that other stuff on our, our balance pad. Chair if you need it, or you could do hands on the hips or even arms up to the ceiling. I might try that today for bonus fun. Um, let's start. We're going to roll up to our balls of the feet, bend our knees just a few inches, roll our heels down to the floor, and then come back up to standing. Push the floor away. Heels are lifted as you bend. There's the fun part. <laughs> roll the heels down and then back to standing. Let's do two more. Push the floor away, rise up. Bend the knees, remember you could do arms out here. You can a hand on the chair for all of these. One more in that direction. Bend, bend, bend. Roll the heels down and then come back up. And then we'll reverse it. All right, so that reverse is bend. Feel like you're kind of sliding down a wall. There's that calf stretch. Lift your heels up, stand up on the balls of the feet and then roll down for your feet. Bend, rise up, up to standing, roll back down. Any of your arm positions work for this. Bend, lift the heels, push yourself up, roll back down. Last one, bend, 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 heels lift, push the floor away, and then that roll to come back down. We got our ball, so we're gonna sneak in a little just Shift over to one side, balance. Shift over to the other side, balance. 
fun ones. A little rock. And rock. Let's start adding some little squeezes five times. Come over to one side and go one, two, three, four, five. And then switch. One, two, three, four, five. One more time on each of those. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to the other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Good. All right. Well, let's keep our ball there. Let's just do kind of a nice little standing roll down. Maybe a big sweepy arm circle up overhead with those arms. And then let yourself just curl down, drape down, and kind of let go through your arms and shoulders. Let your body just roll forward toward the floor to wherever it feels good for you. Hang for a moment if it feels good. Maybe you want to shake out. Maybe you just want to be there. Any of the things. <laughs> when you're ready to come up, notice your ball. Hug into it. Feel those abdominal muscles pulling up and in. And just slowly stack yourself up. As you get close to the top, get some energy in those arms and just stretch them up overhead. Take a big breath. And then just circle and come all the way back around. And then we are all done. Thank you guys for joining me for some balance fun today.